Today we're talking about the top three things that I look for before I open an investment account. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Drawbridge Finance. My name is Levi Woods. As always, this is an opinion channel about money. I'm not offering financial advice. But I do have opinions on lots of different things that are financial. And one of the things that I like to look for is opening a new account. Now, as you guys can imagine, I have tons of requests all the time from people saying, hey, how do I get into investing? You talk about it like it's so easy. And really, the type of investing that I do is very, very simple. It's, it's long-term growth, dividend, high-yield dividend investing. And really, it's a buy and hold strategy, very similar to what Warren Buffett has done for the last 50 plus years. It's finding good quality companies, buying them at a good price, reaping the reward of the dividend, reinvesting that dividend. And it, it has helped me grow a rather sizable portfolio over the last 20 years of trading. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about the the pitfalls or the things that, not really pitfalls, the, the things that I look for when I'm opening a new account, which I, I don't often do. I, I'm very much an advocate of having my money in a couple of places so I don't have it all over and I'm, I'm not having a hard time managing it. I want to have very specific types of accounts at very specific institutions. So in opening an account, one of the first things I look for, the number one thing that I look for is whether or not that company is insured. I want to know that the money that I put into that account is actually protected from bankruptcy protection. Now, I understand that when I invest that money into stocks, there's risk involved and I could lose money because of the valuation of the stock value changing. But what I don't want to, uh, the risk that I don't want to incur is from investing money with a company and then the company itself going bankrupt and my money not being insured. So bankruptcy protection is absolutely imperative when we're talking about uh, investment institutions. So of course that leads me to like what kind of institutions can you go to? I mean in Canada it's pretty easy. There's a big top five banks and then we've got a couple of other um, trading specific companies and um, I would think I'm going to cover that topic in a different video. So I'll do a breakdown of some different companies that people can invest with. But uh, there's a variety out there so you just have to do your research and make sure that they're insured. That's the number one thing. Now the second thing I look for is what type of investment can I actually buy inside of this account that I'm opening? Now for me, I only really invest in a couple of things. I wanna buy stocks, sometimes referred to as equities. I wanna buy ETFs and I wanna buy and sell options. Those are the three types of things that I look for. So that's my, my second thing. My second point about opening a new account uh, is can I buy those three things? Stocks, ETFs, options. Those are the only three things I care about. I don't care about mutual funds, I don't care about bonds, I don't care about gold, cryptocurrency, any of that stuff, that's not for me. Now the third thing that I look for in an investment account is what are the fees? What is it gonna cost me to do every single transaction? Are the ETFs free? Is it $10 or less to buy or trade stocks? What are my, uh, my fees for buying and selling options and what are the exercise fees? That's a huge one for me because I'm an option seller now and I want to know if a, a trade gets executed against me, what that exercise fee is going to be. And some of these companies charge a, a massive amount for that one single fee. So I have to go through all of those points and, and really be careful about what the future fees that are, I'm going to be paying because once I get that account set up, I plan on holding it for a really, really long time. Well, those are the three things that I look for when I'm opening a new investment account. So I hope that gives you guys some insight and hope, hopefully that answers a couple of people's questions because I would love it if we could all just get rich together. Thanks so much for watching and see you very soon.